what's happening is a lot of people are jumping to conclusion here uh, and making decisions, which, which I don't want to say are not the right decision, but making very rash judgment decisions right now. And I think as we get, as we get into this, the, as we go on, we're going to have more protocol in place. So it is key for the city of Boston, for our community centers, for our schools, for our charter schools, for our parochial schools, to follow a protocol. And that protocol is, is if, if we think that somebody is in is, is somewhere, is connected to the coronavirus, we then will follow the steps and take the investigation and get the state involved so we're following this tr through. There's still an unknown fear uh, as far as when some of the questions have been asked here. So I think that I think we have to take a step back. As far as the large venues go, again, the same thing. I mean, the, um, uh, the secretary talked about it, the governor's talked about it, uh, making sure that whether it's large venues or our schools or our train stations or airports, that, we, that we're doing proper cleaning in there, that we have hand sanitizer in there, that people are washing their hands, that are pe people are covering their mouth when they're coughing and sneezing. All of those things will help us moving forward. As far as the large venues, they're in the same category. Cleaning down the TD Garden, cleaning down Fenway Park, thinking about all those different areas. I mean, we're going to, and we're monitoring this day by day to see what's happening around the, around the country, around the world. I think there's been four marathons canceled right now. Uh, we're not there in Boston right now yet. Oh, the no, we're not, we're not there yet. We're monitoring the situation with literally day by day to see what's going on. And again, talking to the medical experts, getting the information from them, not reacting. If the medical experts say to us, if I'm told by the medical people here that, that there is a problem having the St. Patrick's Day parade or there's a problem in, in other parades, then we will take the appropriate action. But until the medical professionals come to us and say we need to shut everything down, we're going to continue just to, to, to pass information out to people what they need to do to take precautions.